Hi, today we are going to talk about how to override a listing supplier. Override feature is used to adding or updating listing supplier information. Supplier information is necessary when using Shopmaster to monitor product or auto fulfillment orders. Override feature is used in several cases. If you have already product added to your store and you want to connect them to Shopmaster, if you want to change the supplier for the product, this is the process of overriding the product. Shopmaster has four sales channels. There are some differences between different channels to overriding. The process of eBay and Wish overriding are the same, and Shopify and WooCommerce process are the same. So I will show a eBay overriding and a Shopify overriding. Let's begin with eBay first. Go to eBay listing tab, then find the product to override. Click override button. Paste the new suppliers link here. You can choose to enter other forms of supplier information instead of supplier link. Click continue. Match the variations. Click edit variations if you need. Here you can edit shipping cost, price, quantity. Edit one by one or click to edit in bulk. Then click Confirm. Compl complete the override process by clicking Override and Updating or Override. Click Override and Update button. The, pri the price and inventory will be updated automatically right now. And click Override. The price and inventory will be updated on the next monitoring. Here I click override. You can see the product has been override successfully. This is the process of eBay and Wish overriding. Now let's let's have a look. How about Shopify? Choose product, click override button, paste New suppliers link here. Like before, here are other forms for you to choose. Click continue. For Shopify override, override, it will delete all your existing variations and replace them with variations from the new supplier. If you want to replace the product title, description, or images, just mark the checkbox. If you do not mark these options, the product title, description, and images will stay the same as in your existing Shopify product. Click Edit Variations to edit shipping cost, price, quantity. Edit in bulk or one by one. Untick the product you don't want to list to your store. Click Confirm. Then click Override. If the product you're trying to override has unfulfilled orders, there is one more step. You need to map the variations which the orders belongs to so that it can be fulfilled successfully with the new supplier. Click Confirm. You can see the product has been override successfully. This is the process of Shopify and WooCommerce override. That is all today. 
If you have more questions, please contact us at email or Facebook. Thanks for watching.